guys welcome back to my channel life of ours if you're new if you're not new welcome back wagwan scandals popping all that jazz so i haven't been filming for a while because i just turned 22 like a week ago so i celebrated my birthday so i wasn't really trying to film while celebrating my birthday because i want to celebrate these i was gonna vlog my birthday and i thought nah can't bother but yeah I'm back, 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 back. I am trying to do some new content. Obviously, I will still be doing my hair reviews and stuff, but I will be trying to branch out and do new types of content. But for the meantime, let's get onto this video about how I toned my blonde bundles um, using box dye as opposed to using actual Weller toner. So yeah, let me just um, get on with it. Let me just give a disclaimer, I added more root than I actually wanted to this hair again. So I'm going to end up bleaching. I'm going to bleach out the roots. So the next time you see this wig, I will bleach out. The, the next time you see this the, the next time you see this wig, the roots will be a lot lighter and more bleached out. Because I don't want the roots to be this dark. This hair is from West Kiss Hair. They sent me four bundles of 613 hair. So I have two bundles of 22 and two bundles of 20. I think I've only used three and a half. So I only used like half one of the 20 inch bundles. Yes, the hair is really soft and took to the box dye really well. It's got like a nice luster to it. You see that? Yes. And it took to um, the box dye really well. I was really worried about how that would do, but I left the box dye on my hair for quite a while, longer than they recommend you to. And the hair turned out I think pretty cute. Um, this is the exact tone of blonde I was going after. So if you're after this kind of similar icy wifey type of blonde, then I'm going to tell you how to do so. Okay, keep watching, pay attention. Things will be in the description box as well because I know I'm bad at putting things in the description box when people ask me questions that I'm sure I've already said, but then I realize it's my fault for not putting it in the description box. So yeah, let's get into it. Hell, so first, if you want roots, this part is for you. For the roots, I use my Garnier, Garnier Nutris, uh, Clairol Nice and Easy in the color 6A, which is a light ash brown. I just use that for the roots. I separate the roots and used um, my little applicator brush to do the closure in sections. I'm going to insert the clip now of what I was doing so you can see. Then, after I've done that, I then proceeded to tone the bundles. For the bundles, I used about in total, I think I used six boxes of Clairol Nice and Easy. Yeah, six boxes of Clairol Nice and Easy box dye in the color 9A which is light ash or medium ash it's, it's the color 9a anyway medium or light ash blonde i put in the description box so medium ash blonde just did each bundle the reason i end up using six boxes because i'm very bad distributing dye evenly so i need a lot of hair dye if you're good at distributing dye evenly unlike me you probably need only about four but i use six because like i said i'm bad at distributing dye evenly so just did that ran it through the bundles made sure it touched as much sections as possible and then I left it on my hair for about 40 minutes. After 40 minutes, I rinsed out the hair using my purple shampoo, the Provoke one. Um, I got that from Tesco, so it's the Provoke purple shampoo from Tesco. I didn't film me doing that because I don't like putting my camera in the bathroom because I'm too accident prone for them kind of games. So I use my Provoke shampoo to rinse it all out. Um, Provoke shampoo obviously comes from, I bought that from Tesco, so my local Tesco's. 
Um, so that's a really good purple shampoo that you can just get from the supermarket, by the way. Use that to rinse out the hair. I didn't leave the purple shampoo on the hair. I just kind of like did a quick rinse with it just to ash it out a bit more. Let it air dry and then voila. We have this. Obviously, I let the hair air dry, made it into a wig, straightened it out and we have this beauty right here. So yeah, that's how I got this proper icy like if you want that sweetie, sweetie blonde, this is it here. Well, as close as I could get it, because I love her blonde. That's why I'm going to take out the roots a little bit. But yeah, this is the hair. It just looks so gorgeous. The hair is really soft as well. Like, really, really soft. I've had zero tangling with this. This hasn't really tangled on me or anything. It doesn't really shed too much. Like when I was washing it out, um, it didn't really shed much either. This hair is just very good hair, I really like it. And I hope my instructions on how to, obviously I've been certain clips and stuff, but I hope my instructions on how to get this um, hair color using box dye help. I haven't seen a lot of, like the tutorials I've seen on YouTube have used box dye that you get, the Revlon one that you get from America. And obviously I'm not from America, I'm from the UK, I'm from London town. So I wanted to show, especially for the UK babes and the American babes, because they have Claire on I see today as well how to get this using box dye so yeah to get this icy color and obviously i think the purple shampoo rinse quick rinse out did help with the iciness of this so i don't know i'm not sure but i think it did i just did it for safety and because i wanted it to be really icy i didn't really want it to be as yellow as my last blonde wig was i really wanted a nice icy color so yeah oh let me show you the length as well so it comes up to here on me there on me. I hope that this video has been helpful. Um, check out West Kiss Hair, all the links will be down below. I will see you in my next video, baby. Okay, bye.